This pet is to do control. The master room. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. Hopefully I got all that on frame. This is the Corbin Master Ring kick cylinder, which I recently acquired from eBay. Um, they came without keys, although the gentleman who sold them to me was nice enough to include two blanks. This is a kick cylinder, so key and knob. Focus, please. It's macro mode. There we go. So, looks pretty normal from the front, although you'll notice it's quite a lot wider than the back. Get a good focus on that. You can see that, by the way, this is Alex. You can see that there are actually two bits that turn. There's the center bit, and then there's a master ring creating a second shear line. So you've got your drivers, first shear line here to get that lighting better, and then a second shear line on the center plug. Okay. So the idea is that you can master pin it and there's no conflict between the two so you don't end up with inadvertent shear lines in your master key system so according to multiple sources this is a more secure master keying system than your traditional master wafer type of thing zoom back out there we go and just to show you the keys again get these right this key, let's get rid of that, that white background, and there we are, okay, that's a handmade, um, that's the, this key operates the um, inner cylinder, or inner plug, so I'm going to put this in here. You can see it turns, but it's just turning. Arms too short. There we go. It's just turning the center bit, right? I don't know if that's technically the master position or the um, control or uh, change. And this here is your 
second key and you can see that from making this the last four the first the last four biddings are about the same depths are about the same but then this turns the entire lot okay so Corbin master ring system one interesting thing about the construction of this which I learned over several hours last night when I was trying to take it apart the center plug loads from the front so if you pick it or shim it this bit, the silver bit, comes out the front the master the second plug, if you will, comes out the rear and it can only come out the rear if the center plug is removed. So you have one coming out this way, one coming out that way, and then drivers at the top. So there's three pins in each stack. One that sits inside the plug, this plug, one that sits, that bridges the gap, one way or the other, between here and the drivers, and then the driver pins and springs on top. Right. So it was a pain in the ass to get back together. I basically had to take the top off load everything from the top. It was the only way I could get it because just you can't get followers to work properly. Anyway, that's a Corbin master ring. Key and knob. Be a very large knob cylinder. Okay. And for those of you that might want to make keys at home, I found that this zooming out. This is called a um, let me get him to focus for me. Nope. Back to manual mode. Anyhow, this is called a Pippin file. This one happens to be made by Nicholson. And you can see that it has a feather, rather broad edge on one side and sort of a knife edge on the other. So this is very nice because the broad edge, as you're, as you're cutting down through the key, makes about the right shape with the angles. And then this knife edge is great for starting your cuts to get that very precise alignment. I'd say the keys are not beautiful, but they work. And it was a hell of a lot easier than using other types of files that I had. So there you are. And my pers first picking video. So, sorry for the hiatus, but I've been in the process of getting ready to move. And that's that. And just for reference, this is, I think, the small Pearson pry bar. And this is, I can't remember what brand this is, you probably recognize, I think it's South Ord, but South Ord, or the other one that starts with an S. Um, short hook, I guess you could call that. Um, and just FYI, the little difficulty I was having is the last three pins, this is actually a full depth cut, oops, out of frame, but this number one, two, three, the fourth pin is all the way down on the ward, and then you've got these two fairly low cuts here. So you've got to kind of reach in and just tap that one, hit that one up, and get your pick back out. And then luckily the binding order of these last three set and the last two set last, so you can get the thing open. I have not picked it to the center ring, the center plug, um, for whatever reason, but maybe one day. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Alex, Corbin Master Ring Kick Cylinder. Have fun and don't break the law. Cheers.